Mitchell Fine Arts Middle School is located in Racine, Wisconsin. The school focuses on incorporating arts into the entire curriculum so students become more aware of themselves and their environment. Band director Rex Rukavina, who has been teaching for 25 years, has brought a lot to the Mitchell Middle School Arts Department. Uh, so we have your basic 6th grade band, 7th grade band, 8th grade band. Uh, they're by grade. And then we have beginning 6th graders who can start an instrument as kind of a last chance. Um, we used to have a jazz ensemble that was taken away. Uh, we have an orchestra here, we have choir, uh, and general music. Rex also offers special programs to students, such as the Mitchell Symphony Band, available to 7th and 8th grade Mitchell Band members who try out and travel to different places performing concert pieces against other middle school and high school bands. And special program Racine Lighthouse Brigade, which is available for sign up to students in the Racine Kenosha areas, which is a traveling competitive marching band for students ages 14 to 18 to compete in field shows over much of the Midwest and many other places. These wonderful programs that Rex makes possible for these students could quickly come to an end due to major cuts in funding. It's getting less and less every year. Um, we used to have funds every couple of years for new instruments that give us thousand, two thousand dollars. That's been cut. I've last time I've seen any money for any instrument would be three years ago. I have instruments that are literally being held together with duct tape. Uh, I have instruments that are from the 1950s, 1960s. Um, I at the end of the year they do give us money to repair them. Um, the person at my repair company says they're pretty much on their last leg. So there's no money for that. I get used to get about five hundred dollars a year for music. Um, now it's been cut to about $400 a year for music, and that's pretty much what they give me. I don't get anything else. So any other money that Rex may need, he gets through fundraising that takes up his own time, and much of his prep time is spent counting money and doing paperwork just to get the necessities. Even more of his own time is spent on making the symphony band trips possible. Rex is one of the few teachers in the district that plans a trip for his students. The map in his office marks all of the places he's gone on through these programs. The joy he gets by offering these lifetime experiences to his students is what keeps these programs alive year after year. Um, just to, to set up the trip itself, it's hours and hours of setting up the hotel and all the different itineraries and the bus company and all that stuff. Then there's the after school rehearsals, which I'm doing for free just to be a nice guy. So it's a big commitment, um, but this is already the 18th year I've done it. So even though I, I do enjoy it and it's really great, but it's kind of like once you start it, you can't really say I'm not going to do it anymore because that would be really bad. And it's really great for the students. I always look at it as if my daughter was here. I would love to have her have a chance to go to New York City or Atlanta or Dallas or whatever the case may be. Many of his prep hours are also dedicated to setting up the Racine Lighthouse Brigade schedule and trips. The Racine Unified School District has also cut the funding for Brigade drastically over the past few years. So that's uh, 15 grand a year that we pay extra. The transportation is another 18,000 that we've had to pick up. Um, the boosters have you know, really increased their, their fundraising. Uh, they've really gone into uh, grants and gotten a lot of money that way. But pretty much now the district gives us $40,000 for junior and senior staff and that's it. Everything else is on our own. Rex and former member Sarah Curtin, who had been a part of Mitchell Symphony Band and Racine Lighthouse Brigade, strongly believe that music programs offer a lot to students and play an important role in schools. Probably one of the most important things. It's just as important as somebody who wants to play football or be a cheerleader. Everybody has their own talent or something that they're interested in. And music, I think, allows people to express themselves and also provides opportunity to put in dedication and hard work and it just teaches so many things that are important during your life. As far as I'm concerned you should be in music or some type of art. Um, so we've seen time and time again students uh, confidence levels rise because they've been in music. Um, all the different things about you know teamwork and discipline and and just the different listening skills and counting skills all that stuff is all part of a, a full education. I wouldn't be who I am today without music and being involved in all the things that I was during middle and high school and I think it's very important for kids. All of your life lessons are right here. Take everything you've learned and what, if you apply the same things you've done to the marching band, 
whatever you do in your life, you'll be successful if you do these same things. And it's, it can't be more clear in my head. And yet here we have the district, $40,000 to them, that's the big chunk of money and they could just cut it like that. And all the things that, you know, you know, not only does it help students grow and all that stuff, but it's, it's a way to, you know, highlight the district. Hey, look at this great little shiny toy goes around the, the Midwest and it, it represents the Racine Unified School District, but they could cut it like that. Music has proven to positively affect the lives of many children. Supporting the music programs in your school system can help ensure that the programs will be available to future generations. If you'd like to donate to Rex and his programs, please visit MitchellBands.org. For UWW-TV, this has been Chelsea Luchinski.